Like, uh, just, just, just a reminder. She milked the fuck out of this belt, okay? She would wear this belt all the time that she had it, and a lot of people suspect that Nico had never planned to defend that title, and that by, you know, being forced out of the fight, it was mu- much better than getting her ass whooped by Valentina Chachingo. So th- some people think that it was more about Nico uh, being afraid of losing the title or losing it in an embarrassing way. I think that's part of the truth, but I don't disagree. I don't agree with people who believe that Nico was not afraid of Valentina Shevchenko. I don't fucking believe that. I don't. I think there was some legit fear of a fucking Valentina head kick, an overhand left, a ground and pound, crucifix, or whatever you would come up with that she would have did to fucking Nico. I think it would have been a competitive fight up to a point, but eventually she would have sliced and diced the fuck out of Nico Montano. So, yeah, maybe there was less fear for her than it was for the average motherfucker who would have been fighting somebody like Valentina Vichinko. But I absolutely believe that she had fear that was legit. I just don't see nobody doing that much to get out of a fight and there's no real fear. That's just my opinion. So, Nico Montano, very beautiful lady, by the way. She just can't fucking make weight. So, recently, <laughs> Nico Montano had a fight scheduled with Wu Yanan, and she could not fucking make weight. She just could not make weight to save her motherfucking life. And when you see her on the scale, you just see the defeat of Nico Montano. Nico Montano is clearly done. And she had just released the damn documentary like a few days before, or like the little promo for it. And she basically did it to herself. I mean, it, it, Nico struck out twice, y'all. Nico was, was an undisciplined fighter who held on to the title as long as she could. Until she was forced to fight a fighter that she was afraid of dealing with and dealing with the embarrassment that she did not believe that she could defeat, even though her own team believed in her. Now, personally, Nico was probably a decent individual, but on a professional level, this is bad. This is terrible. This is unacceptable. And this is why Dana White said what he had to say about Nico. Because, you know, what what choice did, did, did he have? I agree. You know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's their, their deal, their responsibility. I mean, basically, that's 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 the gist of it. And uh, so, of course, she was cut a few days after the fight was supposed to take place. And uh, yeah, I I, I just I, I I wish her the best. I, I don't know what direction she's going to go in, but I'm sure she's amassed enough connections. And she has enough experience in certain areas to, you know, maybe she want to stay in uh, combat sports. I don't know to what degree she wants to stay in it. Does she want to do broadcasting, interviewing shows? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she has a gym somewhere or, you know, again, she has enough support from her people. I I think she'll be all right. But uh, so. All I can say is hopefully, you know, Nico do better wherever wherever she go from here. If she decides to keep fighting and, you know, salute Nico Montano.